Hey everyone, in this lesson we would like to discuss how to generate high voltage impulse using a circuit called Marcus circuit or multi-stage uh, impulse generator. Okay, so this is used to generate a voltage of greater than 250 kilo volt. Okay, so the Marcus circuit is used to uh, generate a very high impulse waveform as you see here now this is the circuit for a uh, mark circuit okay so this circuit contains a number of stages it, uh, it is a multi-stage impulse generator so the number of stages equal to number of gaps you will see here a gap g1 g2 g3 g4 the number of stages for example we have here one two three four so we have here four gaps or four stage uh, mark circuit or four stage uh, impulse generator okay and equal to number of capacitors used we have here one two three and four this capacitor bank is connected to our load which is considered as our output okay we take here our output okay each stage consisting of two resistance one gap and one capacitor so we'll see that here the first stage we have a resistance r1 r2 and we have a gap g1 and the capacitor uh, c1 okay so we have one capacitor one uh, gap and two resistance this is considered as the first stage and this part is the second stage this part third stage this part fourth stage the final output voltage in the ideal circuit the output here the impulse output the maximum or the peak in the ideal circuit without any losses is equal to n vc vc is the voltage across the capacitor okay and n is the number of stages for example if we have uh, four stages like here then the output the final voltage will be 4 vc okay four times the voltage across one capacitor okay vc is the charged voltage of the capacitor the efficiency of the mark circuit is equal to v peak the output peak okay which we take here from the load the peak value over n vc okay over nvc nvc is the ideal case and v peak is the actual output peak okay so how does the mark circuit work so let's concentrate with each other here at first we have a dc input supply similar to the single stage impulse generator so what happens here is that at the beginning the voltage here starts charging the first capacitor here plus minus okay this is our first capacitor for example charged by v v is the voltage of the dc for example it's called v okay so we have here plus minus okay so what happens here is that the first air gap here due to the presence of this high voltage between here and here between this node and this node what will happen is that the first air gap will become a short circuit okay so what will happen here is that since this part becomes a short circuit all of this becomes a, so a short circuit then the voltage of this point of this point the voltage of this point and the voltage of this node this node and this node will have the same voltage okay and this one is connected to the ground okay so this point have a zero voltage okay so this point becomes a zero voltage okay zero voltage okay this node is zero voltage now remember that here we have a difference of plus minus v okay so what what does this mean the potential difference here at this node 
is higher than the lower node by a value called V. So since the upper one equal to zero voltage, then the lower part will be negative V. Okay, so why? Because so that the potential difference or the voltage across the capacitance will be equal to the voltage of the upper node minus the voltage on the lower node. Okay, which means it will be equal to zero since we have here a short circuit and this one connected to the ground minus the lower voltage which is negative V. Okay, so this will give us finally V. Okay, so it's correct. So the upper one is zero voltage and the lower one is negative V. Okay. Okay, now let's delete all of this. So now we have at this point negative V. Okay, now since at the beginning we charged the first capacitor. Okay, now in parallel also the capacitor, the second capacitor C2 is charged with plus minus V. Okay. Now, after reaching the voltage V, what will happen is that this air gap will break down. Okay, so since we have here negative V, so what will happen, and we have here a short circuit, then this point will become negative V. Okay, so the upper one is negative V. Okay. Now remember that we have a potential difference of plus minus V. Okay, so this node will have the new voltage will be negative 2V. How again, since the voltage across the capacitor will be equal to V upper minus V lower or the positive minus the negative. Okay. So the upper voltage or the positive node is, is equal to negative V minus between two bracket. The lower uh, node is equal to negative 2V negative 2V. So negative negative will give us a plus. So plus 2V minus V will give us again V. Okay. So in the end, you will see that this point, this point at the beginning is zero. This point is negative V. This point becomes negative 2V. This point becomes negative 3V with the same concept. This point becomes negative 4V. So in the end, we will have the output here at this node, an output of 4V. The peak impulse magnitude is 4V. This is the peak of the, the magnitude. This peak at the ideal case, it will be equal to 4V, where V is the supply or the voltage across each capacitor. Okay, so now this is how mark circuit works. We simply have a group of air gaps which breaks down after recharging the capacitor, after charging each capacitor, and the voltage starts to increase by each stage. Okay, now you will find that at the beginning, the air gap here is smaller than the air gap here. Okay, so uh, air gap here comparing air gap between the three of them, the air gap, you will find that the air gap G1 is smaller than G2, is smaller than G3, 
smaller than g4 and so on okay why do we do this so that g1 is the first one to be triggered okay the first one to become a short circuit then g2 then g3 then g4 okay so that the stages move uh, one by one here is another illustration by uh, circuitdigest.com again what will happen here is that uh, you see here that first uh, we add a volt high voltage dc source connected to capacitor c1 okay so capacitor c1 starts to charging c2 or c2 charged in parallel then what will happen that this one g1 will break down so when it breaks down what will happen is that this voltage becomes negative v and this voltage becomes negative 2v and this voltage becomes negative 3v remember that the capacitor at the beginning here is uh, considered as a supply okay this is the first stage second stage third stage all of the capacitors here c1 c2 c3 c4 are charged in parallel okay you will find that the dc supply here starts charging c1 and at the same time charges c2 at the same time it was c3 and c4 okay then the final voltage breaks down the final air gap and goes to the load okay so as you see here g1 then g2 then g3 then the uh, g4 or the to the through the capacitor c4 going through the load what is the application of the multi-stage impulse generator or the mark circuit? Number one, it is used to test the high voltage device. We would like to test our equipment or our high voltage equipment against the impulse um, effect or against the lightning effect. Remember that as we said before that the lightning causes impulse waveform into our devices so we would like to test our devices against this impulse waveform so we need a single uh, impulse generator or a multi-stage impulse generator to produce high voltage in order to test our equipment and see if it will withstand or not uh, some of the comp components uh, tested in this case are the lightning arrestors, fuses, uh, TVs, diodes, different types of the surge protectors, and etc. are tested using the impulse voltage generator. It is used also the impulse used in nuclear physics experiment as well as in lasers, fusions, and the plasma device industries. The Marx generator is of course used for the simulation purposes for the lightning effect on the power line. So in this lesson we discussed the multi-stage impulse generator or the uh, Marx circuit for generating very high voltage impulse uh, waveform.